Welcome in. It's so nice to be back home. Mom, where's dad? I want him to meet Olivia and Logan. Ava, welcome back. I've missed you. Hi, dad. I brought my friends over who are sleeping here for winter break. This is Olivia. Hi. And this is Logan. Pleasure meeting you, Mayor Blue. Your daughter is an absolutely wonderful friend of ours. We thank you for raising such a kind person. Um, you're welcome. Calm down, Logan. Ava, how did your parents meet? Oh, don't worry. They'll tell you. Oh my gosh, I love this story. Here she goes. It was 30 years ago. I was 23 years old and your dad was 22. He was still mayor even back then. Wow, you were so young. How did Mayor Blue become mayor so young? Please call me James. Thank you. Okay, James. Not you. You call me Mayor Blue. Oh. My dad was a mayor before. He passed away when I was 20. I started learning how to take his place as a mayor, and everyone voted for me because they liked my dad. Anyways, back to our love story, please. <laughs> James was really grumpy. I didn't realize it was because his dad just passed away and how lonely he was. Angel, I don't need this pity story. Okay, okay. Anyways, he was really mean about having no Christmas lights in the city. It made me so sad. I tried to talk to him, and he yelled at me a lot. I am sorry about that. Eventually, he fell for me after I had tried to convince him more. More and more, we kiss. Aww. The next day, I surprised her and got the whole town decorated for Christmas. It felt like a movie. James, you're such a good guy. I'm glad you both met. If you hadn't, we wouldn't have Ava. Logan, call me Mayor Blue, please. And thanks. When James's dad passed, he gave him a blue heart necklace that was from James's mom he never could meet. James gave it to me when we got married, then I gave it to Ava when she was a little girl. Oh yeah, uh, thanks for that, Mom. That necklace? Logan, um, can, can you pass this off? Yeah, but- Ava, why aren't you wearing your necklace? I, uh, left it in my locker rack at school. I'm sorry. That necklace is really important, Ava. Please don't forget it next time. I'm sorry. Um, Ava, why don't we see what your childhood room is like? That would be fun. Um... Um, sure? I don't trust that Logan kid. Honey, it's fine. They're just friends. What's happening? Why haven't you told your parents about the necklace and how it was hers? Like, you just gave that necklace to her. Do they even know the blue girl? Her past? Anything? She is part of your family. Hello? Uh, nice room, Ava. Thanks, Logan. But I really just didn't want to ruin my parents' Christmas. They deserve to know, but this is definitely not the time. Christmas is in a few days. I can wait until New Year's. Hello? I guess that's true. What? Take your time, Ava. Ava? What did you do? Huh? We just got a call. Did you vandalize the school before you got here? What are you talking about? Ava, the staff of the school called. They believe you vandalized the school and thought you could get away with it since it's winter break. Staff are still at the school. How could you? I didn't do that. They want to see you at the school immediately. Please go. Oh, that's such a long drive. We'll come with you, Ava. Ava Blue, of course you'd do something like this. Clean it up immediately. Principal Harris, I didn't do this. Why are you here on Christmas break? Some of the staff work here over break, including me. It's funny you thought you could get away with this. You know it was the blue girl who did this. Surely you do, right? Keep your mouth shut. This is Ava's fault. It has her name. Don't speak of that girl, especially here. Clean this up immediately. It's clean. 
clear that Carolyn needs something from you again, Ava. You have to be kidding me. What else would the blue girl want? You already gave her your family's generational necklace. Let's go find out. Oh no. Don't tell me we're going back. We have to. Let's go. Here we go again. <laughs> I'm back. Did you miss me? No. I mean... Yeah. What do you want now? Why did you just cause me to get in trouble? On winter break of all things too? Oh boo hoo. Your poor little winter break. You're lucky you even have one. I passed away right before Christmas. It was stolen from me. We need your help. If you don't help, there will be major consequences. What do you need help with? We need to seek revenge. We told you already to stop terrorizing the students. I thought you listened to us. You said you'd stop. Don't worry, I did stop. Who else needs revenge then? The staff. Yes, the staff. They never punished the students who bullied me after I passed. I want to teach them a lesson while they're all working alone at the school on winter break. Maybe even make a few never be able to celebrate Christmas again either. I'm sorry you couldn't celebrate Christmas, but you need to stop Carolyn. Olivia's right. You can't just do that. We'd get expelled. I don't want to hurt anyone. Are you sure you want to say no to me? You are going to regret this. I don't think you should be haunting anyone, especially on winter break. I am sure the staff feels constant guilt every day for what happened to you. Sure they do. Can we please leave, Ava? Yeah, let's leave. I'm so tired of this. Blue girl, please leave us alone, at least for Christmas. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Logan, you sleep here on the couch. Olivia and I will sleep in my room. Alright, cool. I'm really scared, though. Why? I don't like seeing the blue girl. Well, she is family of mine. I feel really bad for her. She's mean, but it is understandable. If we're gonna stay friends with Ava, we need to get used to the blue girl. I think she has a strong connection with her because they're similar in age. That's true. We won't ever leave your side, Ava. Even if I feel like peeing my pants out of fear. That's, um, <laughs> very sweet of you both. Let's keep this a secret from my parents until I'm ready, please. Deal. Good night, you two. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Did it work? Are you in there, Shadow Man? Yes. Get those girls. Logan. <laughs> they will pay for this. Please stop controlling. Be quiet. Good luck, my shadow. Logan, what are you doing up already? I like to wake up early. Um, no you don't. You are always last to wake up. I like to, as of today. Did you hit a second puberty or something? Your voice is a little lower. Stop questioning me. Jeez, Logan, why are you so rude? Especially to Ava. What are we doing today? Logan. It's fine. Let's stop fighting. We are going shopping. We need those Christmas deals. Shopping? What's that? Logan, you clearly didn't sleep enough. Let's go. We should consider listening to the blue girl. Are you serious? Ava doesn't want to. We want to celebrate Christmas and be normal. I am exhausted after everything Carolyn put us through, and I'm sure Ava is too. We need to go now. I want to go to the school. I don't care if it's Christmas. What? How does this lipstick look on me? It looks so cute. That shade is definitely your color. Why are you looking at me? How does Ava's lipstick look on her? It looks bad. Oh, I, I liked it. I guess I'll put it back. Logan, what the heck? Don't you like Ava? Why are you being so mean to her? Ew, I could never like her. Excuse me? If you want an explanation, get Ava to take us to the school. Seriously? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. Don't listen to Logan. Get the lipstick. Don't get it. it looks ugly. If anything, it makes you uglier. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Logan, shut up. You need to sleep more tonight. Don't wake up early again. Let's go shopping for clothes, I guess. Why do you want to go back to the school so bad? Are you scared the blue girl's gonna come here? Maybe she already is here. What? We need to go to the school, now. No! Stop being mean! I think I'm ready to go home. I'm in a bad mood. What about we go to the school? Okay, Eva, let's go home! <coughs> Mom, I'm home! We're home! Dad? Mr. and Mrs. Blue? Where are they? It's okay, don't panic. Maybe the blue girl captured them. <laughs> Why in the world would you laugh at the thought of that? Maybe we should go to the school. I'm worried that Carolyn could be doing things to the teachers. Maybe your parents are there too. True, let's go, I guess. Where should we look first? Well, um, I'm gonna look around the woods with Logan. I need to talk to him, Ava. Oh, okay. I'll just wait here inside the school and look around here. Why do I need to come with you? Let's go. Now. Ugh. Let me try calling mom. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. <sighs> I'm so scared. I wish I told my parents about Carolyn now. Why are you wasting my time? Why are you being so mean to Ava? You have always been nothing but nice to her. Maybe because I don't like any of you. Logan, we have been friends for basically our whole lives. How could you say that? I don't know you and I don't care. Wait a second. I know why you wanted to go back to the school so bad. You aren't Logan. Olivia, help me! Shut up! Oh my gosh, stop! Shadow Man? It took you long enough to catch on. Don't ruin our plans for us. I need to tell Ava. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Where am I? Olivia? Where's Ava? Oh my gosh! Mr. and Mrs. Blue? Where are we? <laughs> Welcome to the shadow room. I will make sure to take good care of your daughter, Mr. and Mrs. Blue. <laughs> we are family after all. Are we trapped? Yes. Where is Ava? Looking for you guys at the school. Oh no. What? You're all falling for her trap. You know the blue girl? We didn't until today. She's apparently my aunt. Huh? The blue girl is your mom's sister? That's what she said. Whoa. I really hope Ava is okay. Hmm. I wonder what Logan and Olivia are doing. Olivia disappeared in the woods. I lost her. What happened? We got her. Get away. <laughs> Ava! Why are you here in my office? It's winter break! Lock the door now! It's the blue girl! Hurry! It's locked! What's wrong? The blue girl. I know the whole school knows her. She's here again? Yes, and- Wait, why aren't you surprised? I know you're related to her. All the staff knows. Why doesn't the staff do anything? She's wanting me to seek revenge because the staff didn't do anything about her being bullied. I want this all to stop. She won't stop haunting my family and begging for help. Please help me out here. Wow. Revenge? Okay. You really want to know why the teachers didn't do anything? Yes, please. I will tell Carolyn and hopefully my friends and family can be saved. Back when Carolyn was still alive and in the school, Principal Harris was also still the principal. I was a teacher still too. Did you ever teach Carolyn? No. I was just her homeroom teacher. She always looked so sad. Why didn't you do anything? I wasn't allowed to. Principal Harris was bribed by the parents of the kids who bullied Carolyn. Harris was paid a lot of money, and in return, let the parents' kids get away with breaking many school rules. All she cared about was the money. So, let me get this straight. Principal Harris made all of the teachers stay quiet because she wanted the parents' money? Yep. The parents didn't want their kids' reputations to be ruined. The teachers were told if they said anything, 
we would be fired on the spot. And it would be basically impossible to find another teaching job anywhere. Wait, then why are you telling me this? I am tired of holding back. When I noticed you moved into our school over the fall break, I knew I couldn't let anything like that happen again. Is there anything I can do to help get revenge for the blue girl to leave you alone? You telling me that was more than enough. Thank you for being honest. You're a great teacher, Mr. Allen. Anytime, kid. Please. If you use what I say to spread any information to anyone, leave me anonymous. I want to keep my job. I will. Thank you so much for saving my life. I think I know how to save my family. Be careful leaving here. Carolyn, come out. I have a way to help. Please just don't hurt my family or friends. Finally, you listen. Ava, I'm so sorry. Logan, is it really you? Yes, I promise. I'm so sorry I said those things. It wasn't me, but it looked like it was. I was possessed by the Shadow Man. Look, miss, I don't have to be you anymore. It was exhausting being around those girls. Rude. Everyone, shut up. What do you need, Ava? If you're wanting revenge, put the principal wherever you're keeping my parents and Olivia. Why the principal? She's been keeping the teachers quiet all these years about your bullies. She was bribed and she treated you badly all because of money. What? Of course she did. Ava, you're really annoying. But thanks for helping us. Close your eyes, this will only hurt just a bit. Wait, what the heck? Hello? Hi, Principal Harris. Did you miss me? <laughs> Where are they? Guys, you're back! Olivia! I'm so sorry. I was possessed. It's okay. I'm just so happy I'm back. Where did you go? The shadow room. Wait, where are your parents? Whoa. Ava, you're okay. Thank goodness. I'm so happy you're back. We have a lot of talking to do. Definitely. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Ava, I got you a gift. Logan, you didn't have to. <gasps> the lipstick from the makeup store. It even comes with a mirror. I felt so bad for saying the lipstick looked ugly on you. I know it technically wasn't me, but it came from my mouth. I'm sorry. It's beautiful, just like you. Aww. It's okay. Merry Christmas, you guys. Thank you for putting up with my uh, family, I guess. Of course. What are friends for if we weren't for fighting with ghosts every holiday, it seems? <laughs> I'm going to go put this lipstick in my room real quick. Wait, what? What is that? I created a necklace for you with my magic. This time, your favorite color. Thank you and Merry Christmas. I'll see you next year. 